The number one is TP-Link SG1016. Providing exceptional functionality at a reasonable price, the TP-Link SG1016 is a managed offering that supports power over Ethernet through eight of its outputs. It also comes in a 24-port version with four additional SFP cages. The price is around $144. Check out the product link in the YouTube description below. There are 9,338 reviews which average rating is 4.7 stars for this product. A customer said. TP-Link TLS G108 Unmanaged provide 8 switched gigabit Ethernet ports, cheap and excellent throughput. Looks like a small version of what I've used in the past. Provide me with extra Ethernet ports for my small network. Construction of the switch is solid. The finish is smooth and the metal is thick enough that you do not have to worry about any damage through normal use or with kids. Pros. 1. Plug and play. No configuration needed as it is an unmanaged switch 2. Solid and dependable 3. Sturdy metal case 4. Very easy to install 5. Great price and works exactly as expected 6. Can't beat the limited lifetime. The second one is. BV Tech SW800G. The BV Tech SW800G is a highly capable model that's also a great deal especially in light of its reliable power delivery of 30 watts per port. It automatically detects device bandwidth and operates with very little noise, thanks to its fanless design. This product is available on Amazon for $80. There are 206 reviews which average rating is 4.2 stars for this product, a customer said. I was a little skeptical of this switch given I hadn't heard of BV Tech much. I figured it was worth a trial run as I wasn't finding many gigabit PO switches in a comfortable power range. I have six 3 megapixel cameras recording 24-7 through this gizmo, all PO. I've ran it for a few months without issue. When my dad contacted me about wanting a camera setup, I knew exactly what setup I was going with. An i3 desktop, Ubuntu, Blueshare, Dahua cameras, and this exact BV Tech switch. Likewise to my setup, he hasn't had any issues. My previous. Another happy customer said. I purchased this for used with my IP security cameras. Very happy to have found this gigabit switch with 7 usable PO ports 1 for upstream link to router. It cost half the price of the usual suspect brands. The best feature is the built-in power supply and even an on-off switch and detachable power cord. Neither D-Link or Netgear have these high on my list features. Comes with two bracket for wall or rack mount. I have seven cameras on it and it does not even get warm. Fanless quiet. Also there are two indicators for each. The number three. Microtic CRs 328. At only about $400, the Microtic CRS328 is among the least expensive ways to patch multiple devices into a 10 gigabit network. It provides a guaranteed 450 watts of Type 1 or 2 power over Ethernet through each of its 24 full copper connectors. This product has average 4.4 stars from more than 25 customer reviews, a customer said. This switch brought me farther into the micro tick camp than any of the inexpensive router board products I'm used to working with. After several weeks of researching managed PO switches for a local business install, I settled on the CRS328 over several Cisco Enterprise and small business options, as well as some AdTran switches. I chose the CRS328 for a few key features, including, CAPS MAN function for controlling wireless access points, full layer 3 routing capability, including BGP OSPF, RIP as well as MPLS capability, micro tick reputation for regular firmware updates and responsiveness to bug fixes, lack of complicated licensing schemes, ahem, Cisco. After installing, Another happy customer said, low grade QA, so definitely do a shake test before you power the switch on. Mine had a loose screw on the inside so I took it apart and found the missing screw from the power supply board. When I checked the rest of the screws they were all loose. 
As for the product itself, you won't find a larger feature set at this price point. If you are comfortable with Roteros but haven't done layer 2 or 3 switching since 6.41 budget a few hours for wrapping your head around the documentation. Once configured the device works as expected, wire. The next product in our list is Netgear G's 324. The Netgear GS324 is a straightforward solution for medium to large scale network administration. It features LEDs that indicate the speed and activity of each of the links, which automatically sense the bandwidth required by the connected device. This product is available on Amazon for $64. The number 5. Netgear G's 100. If you don't need any complex management functions, the Netgear GS100 family may be the best plug and play model around. It comes in four configurations with either low or standard level power over Ethernet, and your choice of 8 or 16 full copper outputs. This product is available on Amazon for $99. Check out the link in the YouTube description below. There are 287 reviews which average rating is 4.7 stars for this product. A customer said. I wanted to install four ring security cameras and I definitely wanted to connect them via Ethernet to avoid the delay lag of Wi-Fi video. Rather than deal with running Ethernet and AC power, I decided to use PO power over Ethernet so that there would only be one cord I had to deal with. I chose this Netgear GS 108 LP switch because it was a brand I've had good experience with and for its features value to price. Setup was straightforward, as I ran Ethernet from my main router, switched to a TV entertainment room where I stalled this Netgear switch. Another happy customer said, I was using a few smaller switches all chained together before I found this new switch and bought it. I love that all ports are PO plus, albeit with a very limited overall power budget at least with the PSU I bought, and that it is silent. I use it to power two IP phones and three IP cameras. Zero issues. The only thing I wish about it was that they made a 24-port version as well. Immediately after installing this I was down to only having one port available. I am a network engineer and I work with 100 gigabit. The next product is Trip Lighting. The trip lighting comes with 16 or 24 RJ45 jacks to suit applications of various sizes. It offers a total switching capacity of up to 52 gigabits and automatically negotiates individual speeds up to 1000 megabits per second. The price approximately $87. This product is rated with 4.8 stars from 26 customer reviews. A customer said. If you can pick this up for a reasonable price, it's a nice switch with the built-in PDU. Definitely has a lot of management features available and seems to perform well so far. I'm not sure I would use these in an enterprise environment since there are far better options out there for the price, but for a home lab, it's perfect. Another happy customer said. Performs excellent despite the first one I received was DOA, but Trip Light Service support quickly provided me with a replacement. The next product is D Link DX's 1100. Engineered to take advantage of some of the most powerful networking components, the D Link DXS1100 provides a host of high end features, including port mirroring, static MAC addresses, broadcast storm control, and IGMP snooping. The price is around $893. Check out the product link in the YouTube description below. The average rating of this product is 4.6 stars with more than one customer reviews. A customer said. Works better than the Netgear version. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.